Hey everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to find a vacuum leak. A few years ago, I made a video on how to find a vacuum leak using some carburetor spray or another flammable liquid like this and spray around the engine and listen for the engine's RPM to go up. It's kind of how you know you'd find a vacuum leak. I had a lot of people not comfortable spraying a flammable liquid in their engine bay, even though I've done it my entire life. Every tech I've ever met has done it their entire lives. But I understand maybe you're not comfortable with that, not experienced, I totally get it. This is how the technical way to do it is by using a smoke machine, which is available for a pretty reasonable amount of money. Now, why would you wanna perform a vacuum leak test? This can be applied to a bunch of different things like a bunch of lean codes, mass airflow sensor problems. It can lead to a rough idle. It can lead to stalling randomly. There's a bunch of different things a vacuum leak of varying sizes and positions can cause. So it's really important that you know if or where you have a vacuum leak and this video is gonna solve that for you. With all that out of the way, this is kind of a simple and fun one. So let's jump in. So here is how we're going to detect a vacuum leak. We need a little smoke machine and these are available on Amazon for not a lot of money and they work very, very well. And there's a link located down below in the description for your convenience. What I've already done is taken this little lid off and put in 30 milliliters of baby oil. You can get this on Amazon, link down below in the description. I went to my local Walmart and got this Again, very inexpensive. Just, just get the off-brand one. It doesn't need to be anything crazy nice because baby oil has a very low flash point, so it smokes really easy. And this unit's really cool because it comes with a couple different adapters. They have this one for large openings. Pretty cool. They have this rubber one for smaller openings. And then they have just the general metal one on the end of the long hose. And it doesn't even need its own battery because it uses the battery for, of your car. How cool is that? So let's jump into using it. So let's do our first test. It's gonna be right here on our intake boot between our mass airflow sensor and our throttle body. Now this car has a very short one. It's only like four or five inches on turbo cars or any cars with a very long intake boot like this. The results are going to be a little bit more dramatic. There could be more chances for leaks. Obviously bigger boot, more chances for leaks. So it's important to do this test first. Basically I would do this test if the mass airflow sensor was not reading correctly and you had a check engine light for that, you replace the mass airflow sensor, hey, it's still reading incorrectly. I would do this test next. I would go ahead and pull one of these lines off that lead right into the boot. Super easy. And obviously you can see that the boot isn't on correctly. This is for instructional purposes. Don't be too nitpicky. <laughs> and we can turn on our smoke machine. Oh, it's already making some good smoke. And we can put that into that tube right there and it's gonna start filling that cavity for me. And it's gonna make it really obvious that there's a leak somewhere. So you can see all the smoke dumping out of the other side. So normally it would look like this and you can just see all of this smoke dumping out. And basically if smoke can get out, air can get in. And this system has to be completely sealed or your mass airflow sensor won't be reading right. You'll have a check engine code. There could be rough running, all kinds of different problems. So this very obvious vacuum leak needs to be solved. Now, sometimes they can be quite small and you need to keep an eye out for it and have the smoke machine run for a little while. And it'll make things, as you can see, very obvious. So our next test is going to be putting smoke into our intake manifold. Now we need to find an easy way to get in there or the smoke to get in there rather. And I found the best place to do that, especially on these little bit older cars, is the brake booster vacuum line. Usually they're very easy to pull off like that. And we can just take our smoke machine nozzle and put it in there and flip it on. Now it's been running for a little while. Look all around the intake manifold. You wanna look at the runners going into the heads, all around where the throttle body seals into it, all around the backside of the engine. And you wanna look for any small leak, anything where smoke is coming out of, that's gonna be your problem. So look all around the intake manifold and any kind of leak is gonna cause lean codes, run rough at idle, or it might even cause stalling at idle. So after our smoke machine has been running for a little bit, look right here at our map sensor. It is totally pouring out of there. So this sensor O-ring, and you can tell I can move it a little bit, the seal that holds it into the intake manifold has gone bad, it's gone old, and that needs replacing. And I would have never found that on my own without this cool smoke machine. So you should really pick one up on Amazon. So that is exactly how to find a vacuum leak and potentially solving your stalling and idle problem using a smoke machine.
This is a really easy one and I could see a shop charging at least 120 bucks just for the diagnostic, which is basically double what the smoke machine costs. It is very easy to use this. You are very much capable of doing this. You don't need a lift. You don't need any special tools. This is something that you could do in your garage, in a driveway, wherever, and have your answer. If you found this video helpful or interesting at all, please consider becoming a member down below as a direct way to help the channel out and I really appreciate it. Barring that, a like, subscription, and comment go a long way in helping my channel make its way through the algorithm and I really appreciate that as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.